All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, for tonight, we're going to be getting back to the, you know, Magic the Gathering, uh, Tales of Middle Earth. Um, the for those who aren't aware, the um, the bundle gift editions have dropped. So uh, went and picked up a couple um, earlier today. Um, my partner and I uh, <laughs> opened up one box uh, together, and you know, the second box I want to do it here for the channel so um yeah um i guess just an update the master collection is coming along pretty well um still haven't found the one ring um picked up a picked up a few uh you know a, a, a few nazgul cards um some we, we've picked up some really good you know uh playable cards so um I guess when, when I'm getting a bit more comfortable with the sets, I think I might have a look at maybe potentially trying to build a set um, to be able to play. Um, so with any luck, you know, we might find some cards tonight that are, that are you know, worth having a look at for doing that. Um, yeah, so um, I reckon I'll just get straight into it, you know. Uh, we're not here to, you know, not here to put socks on snakes, as they say. So, this is the beautiful box bundle gift edition. Now, I noticed that there was some uh, some wording on the back, which I'll just read. Um, you know, surprising your super fan, so surprising myself. Um, yeah, but you know, like, oh, I guess the good thing about these boxes are, you know, like. They tell you what you're going to get um, in terms of, you know, what well, I guess what to expect apart from what's inside the packs. Um, yeah, so you've got you know, forty land cards. You've got some uh, really cool holographic promos. Um, you've got a really nice dice or a die, and then yeah, so there's um, there's eight packs of your set boosters. And then I've actually got one pack of uh, collector's boosters. So I was having a bit of a think about it today in a conversation um, with my brother-in-law that we were sort of thinking about the value of these. You know, um, I picked this up from JB Hi-Fi for $129. Um, you know, you could probably get it cheaper somewhere. That's cool. Um, I thought I'd pick them up from there. So... And the normal bundles, uh, they're going for close to $100. So, and it's literally everything, um, everything that the gift bundle edition or the bundle gift edition offers, but with the added exception, you know, you pay an extra 30 bucks and you actually also get a collector booster, um, which to me, like, I think that's pretty good value for money. Um, in saying that it's probably cheaper to just go ahead and buy you know eight um eight set boosters and then oh no nah, it probably actually no it doesn't sorry my math is my math's all over the shop it's quite late tonight so um it actually works out to be cheaper if you know buying these um these bundle gift editions you know if a set boost is going for about 10 bucks and you've got eight of them so it's about 80 and then you know, sixty dollars for a roughly for a um, for a collector booster. So you know, one hundred and forty. So it's almost as if you save money on this. Um, yeah. So all right, I'll stop rambling about uh, the financials of card collecting. I'm sure you all uh, you're all pretty familiar with that. Um, so yeah, we'll get straight into unboxing it. Ah, oh, love those eagles. It reminds me of, um, obviously from the movies, um, but also I, f I first sort of read about the eagles in The Hobbit. Um, and every time I see the eagle, like see the eagles or read about the eagles, I always think of The Hobbit. It always just brings me back to The Hobbit. Right. 
So we have, we've got a couple of these white packs here. So the white packs have, um, that's your land cards and then uh, your, you can probably see through it. And there's your promo cards sitting in there. So um, I just want to show you this die. I, I, this die is pretty cool. So see if I can get it in focus there. Like, ah, oh, the numbering is like <laughs> ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'm a very big fan of this. Um, so keep that off to the side. Uh, there's also some added artworks and stuff on the cardboard, so that you can use to play. Um, Again, I know abs. I'm not even going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about with, you know, Magic: The Gathering and what uh, what counters you use for certain things, and you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend. Now, I reckon what we'll do. I sort of feel like it'll be a bit wrong if we did the collector booster first. So we'll leave that one to last. Uh, with any luck, it might contain the one ring, not the one of one, because that's already been found. Um, in my video I did a bit earlier, I spoke about thinking that it was seeded. Um, pretty cynical of me, but um, a lot of people share the exact same views. You know that it's, you know that it's going to end up on, you know, some card breaking place, or you know that's already got. An abundance of followers and money and all that all that hoorah um, but I think it ended up in a private collector's hands and um, yeah you know congrats to them like that's a massive massive W you know depending on what they want to do with it they might want to keep it and hang on to it for a bit longer or they might want to um, might want to sell it I guarantee you there's no shortage of people offering money for it so yeah, but, you know, despite the fact that that's been found, there is still valuable cards in the set, you know. Um, I've started to notice that in the Commander set, so these set boosters are the LTR set, um, I believe. Could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, please. But, um, you know, the, the, it seems like there's more valuable cards sitting in the LTC set, so... Um, which I, I've got a whole bunch of them. I, I need to get another binder, you know. There's like, I reckon there's like seven or 800 cards in the set. Um, like the, if you wanted to collect the entire collection, bar the one of one, of course, unless you're an old mate in Canada, um, you know, to be able to, you know, collect the whole lot, I think would be pretty cool. All right. So what do we got here? Got a nice art card. That's right. The, the the set boosters have the art cards in them too, which I'm also chasing. So um, I don't think I've got this one. This one looks. Oh, actually, I might. What is it? What do we got here? Frodo Baggins. It's um. It's looking a little. You're throwing the ring into Mount Doom, maybe. Hmm. Make of that what you will. All right. So we got a forest. I'm probably not going to read the cards out, to be honest. I mean, I could to drag it out, but I've, I think I've done enough blabbering. Soldier of the Great Host, Eagles of the North, March of the Black Gate, Gothmog. I'm not going to even pretend to know what that pronounces um, ah, Elrond Elven Chorus is the rare so I can put that one to the side Erkenbrand, Lord of Westfeld I feel like I don't have that and we have another just random um, random magic card from another set cool First pack down. I 
bit of ASMR action going on here. Ooh, is that ah, how's that for some artwork? Gandalf. Putting on a bit of a fireworks display, just like from the Fellowship of the Ring. Alright, do we set that one down to the side? So we got the forest. Soothing of Smeagol. Captain Number. I don't feel like I have this card. Pelagio Survivor. I might just put that one to the side, I reckon, because I reckon I don't have that. Ent Trap Basin. Long list of the Ents. I feel like I'll put that one to the side, too. She's very Ent. Uh, oh, Elephant. Ah, the Mines of Mordia. There's your rare. Oh, yeah, that one can go there with Elven Chorus. There and back again. Oh, I don't think I have this one as well. And that's a holographic, so that's a that's a nice little dub right there. So don't forget, we've still got the collector booster. Fingers crossed, we have a bit of luck. Some orc. It is Agua of the White Hand. So one of uh, Saruman's cronies. All right, what do we got? Got an island. Escape from isolation. Fire it off. Cast into the fire. Hmm. I'm going to put that one to the side, because I don't think I've got that either. Smite of the Deathless. It's another one. Oh, I've definitely got Shadow Facts, I know that. Huh? Dunlin Gravain, I've got... Samwise Gamgee. I do have Samwise Gamgee, but I'm going to put that with the Pile of Rares. Ents Fury. don't have that one either. We've got some food at the end. Putting up a little pile of, a uh, nice little pile here of uh, cards I probably need to have a look at putting into the master set. Um, I haven't even done a tally uh, of, uh, you know, how many cards I actually have in the set and sort of what's the, what's the overall value of it all together. Um, oh, Sauron reaching for the shadow of the enemy. Hmm, that's old, old mate Sauron. Give you a bit of a better look at that. Sorry, I definitely don't have that picture card. So that's a that's a little dub right there. Taking any little dubs. Rush the room. Melendor, Swift Saviour. Hmm, that one can go there. Second that one. Oh, what's the rare? Fall of Care Andros. Hmm. And the horses of Bruinen. Bruinen? Yeah, I think I got that right. Hey, and then the last card is a playable card. Dolmen Gate. Cool. Yeah, we got a little, got a little pile, a little, little, a little something, a little something, something. All right. Well, we got four left, and then we're up to the uh, collector uh, booster. And we have, oh, Legolas, probably not. Marshall's Anthem. Maybe the Rivers of Rowan. Or something. No, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just... Just making shit up as I go along, really. Um, 
Let's have a look, shall we? Planes, trees of our gods, one of Moria. Little piece of gold. I'm gonna put that there. Stupid cronies, Shire Sheriff. Shire Sheriff, I don't believe I have that one. And we have Scroll of Isildur. Cool. And then we have Bombadil's Song. And Human Soldier. To top it off. Okay, what do we got? Let's have a look. Got some more to come. Three more. And then the collector booster box. Oh, booster pack, sorry. Oh, it's Ooh, now this is what I've so th this is what I was talking about in the last film uh film. In the uh last rendition of me opening up the Lord of the Rings stuff is so the artworks that come in the set booster packs come with um you know some come signature with signatures and some don't so i don't have this card i have the one without the signature but that is pretty cool um i mean i don't even care that it's an that it's not even a holographic like just the fact that it's got the signature on it i think it's also a pretty good sort of like tip of the hat to the artists who put the time and effort into you know creating this stuff like this stuff is uh, ridiculous, like, it's so good. Rise of the Witch King. No, just any that I'm not sure about, I'm just going to put to the side, just to make sure that I don't, um, I don't throw, throw it away. Is he onto this faithful strike? Pippin's Bravery, Holographic. Orc Army. Two more. Oh. Now, I've forgotten this spider's name. I want to say Sheila. <laughs> like an Aussie. Sheila, but it's not Sheila. It's, uh, let's have a look. Sheila. I was pretty close. I'm actually give myself a pat on the back. That was actually, uh, yeah. I don't have that one either, so that's going into the collection. Uh, what do we got? Shy Scarecrow, Shy Terrace, Revive the Shire, Stern's Golding. You cannot pass. Lost to Legend. Oh, Grimmer Wormtongue. I definitely don't have that one. Pippin's Bravery, I've got. Last March of the Ents. It's, this is actually a Mythic as well. It's a shame it's not a Hollow, but you know what? Hey, it's a dub. It's a Mythic. Isolation of everything. I've got to stop bumping this camera. Sweet. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I don't even know what's going on anymore. Put that one down there. Alright, lucky last. Will the one ring be in this pack? One can only hope. Alright. Oh, what have we got here? Let's put that up a bit for you. It is call for aid when they lit the fires. Um, can't remember the name of the fires. Oh my god! But it was for Gondor to come to the uh, to the aid of the Rohirrim, or the Rohirrim to come to the aid of Gondor. So, and uh, after a bit of sneaky sneaky from Gandalf and bit of inside work we uh they got it got it going and they were here and came to the rescue you know orcish medicine kind of looks like if you're uh out on the town with some mates and uh you've decided you don't want to drink anymore and uh they give you a bit of that orcish medicine help you feel feel a bit better 
Mortar Muster, Butter Bear, Rosy Cotton, Peregrine Took, Pence, Prince, Imrahil, the Fair. Hmm. I reckon I might have this in a hollow, so I'm going to put that one to the side as well. This Knight of Dol, um, Amroth, or whatever. Man, I've got so many of these, it's insane. Sam, Loyal Attendant. Oh, it's a Mythic. Okay. I'll take that. That's a dub. Flowering of the White Tree. Another. Another very solid card. Now, what I've just noticed, what I chucked it in there, this is the LTC. So, this one, I reckon I've got a copy already. So, it'll be placed into the LTC collection if I don't. But if I do, then, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Um, Flowering of the White Tree. And then we have Theoden, King of Rowan. Or Rohan. And then we have the Spirit. Alright, so that concludes um, just the set boosters. Um, I haven't sleeved anything only because with this set, if there's cards that I know that are valuable, and I mean, to be honest, I'll probably put some in this pile. Like this Flowering of the White Tree, I think is a pretty handy card um, for value. So, but I've already got one. So I'll most likely you know sleeve it and then if i you know want to build a set where i can use it it's there for the taking and i don't have to pull any cards out of the master set i think that's the last thing i want to do y you don't want to break up a set that would be a big big no-no so now I'll just take me hollows in me rares and i'll put them together because i'm going to have to go through the master collection um I'll take these ones as well. Put this little. So there's actually quite a chunk of cards there that needs to needs to go over the um, go through with a fine tooth comb. Um, oh yeah, under the collector booster. Um, if I can get it open, I'm like super afraid to like just open these and like bend cards and stuff like that it's like such a oh my god i don't know what i would do if i did that especially if i had something valuable in it <sighs> tough times ahead so we got spirit which funny enough <laughs> got the hollow and the non-hollow version now so there you go all right are we ready to be honest i'm kind of I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm always like, always nervous with this sorts of stuff. We got swarming of Moria, or Moria, Eastling Vanguard, Troll of Khazar Doom, Dunedin. I always think of Dun, yeah, Dunedin, Dunedin, the city, somewhere in the world. Urkenbrand, Lord of Westfold. Friendly rivalry. We have some swamp. Call of the ring. This is. I don't actually have this. I love that. Kind of doesn't really do it justice, and I think um, you know it's also the cover of the collector. You know, like the collector booster pack as well. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, there it is. You know, so yeah. Sorry, kind of like. So you know, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. That's a that's a that's a good one. All right, what have we got? Horn of Gondor. Too greedily, too deep. Faramir, Field Commander. Frodo, Sauron's Bane. Nasty end. Elephant. I don't think I have that. And next we have, it's a promo. 
Oh, delighted halfling. Okay. I'll take that. Well, at least the P stands for... Pretty sure P stands for promo. <laughs> Could be wrong. Could stand for something else. But, um, yeah. Just going back. I mean, I can't go past Call of the Ring. Like, just the artwork in it. And how, you know... How cool, <laughs> how cool Frodo looks. Sorry, I was just kind of like caught myself in a bit of a, a bit of a gaze there, trying to trying to eyeball it. So yeah, that's um, that was good. Oh, I'm knocking the thing again. All right, look, that's gonna that's gonna pretty well conclude it. Um, you know, nothing too crazy, nothing too long. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Um, you know look the channel um it's only just sort of kicking off so you know completely up to you you want to leave a like you want to leave a comment you want to share or you know sub whatever whatever floats your boat it's all good um uh, but yeah that'll be it for tonight um you know tune in next time um and i hope you enjoyed it and yeah i'll see you soon